After banking three wins in their last four games, Des Moines loads up for three games in three nights this weekend as they'll duel the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders twice and the Omaha Lancers once in a busy stretch of USHL action. Buckle up as we gear up for all three games this weekend on our Catch Des Moines weekend preview. Last weekend's split was highlighted by a thrilling victory in Chicago over the league-leading Chicago Steel. Offense would rule the day as Des Moines outlasted Chicago's last-second comeback, winning 7-6 at Fox Valley Ice Arena. Des Moines had a bevy of strong individual performances last weekend, but none better than Michael Mancinelli's hat-trick performance on Saturday. After a bit of a dry spell through the month of January for the Arizona State commit, he exploded back onto the scene last weekend with five points in two games. Yeah, uh, we're feeling good. This weekend's huge though. Uh, six points on the line, so we're gonna get after it. Uh, go to the net, um, you know, try to use my shot, the best of my ability, and uh, just move my feet. Uh, just be a threat every time I have the puck. That's all you can uh, try to do. So far, Des Moines holds a two games to none series lead over Cedar Rapids after sweeping the first home and home series of the season. This weekend, as well as the rest of the weekends against CR, will be another home and home series with the Bucks at the stable on Friday and back here at Buccaneer Arena on Saturday. Up until this point, Benito Posa has dealt the death blow to the Rough Riders twice as both of the previous two games went to overtime and both of the previous two games were ended by Posa. Sunday's matinee affair with Omaha is just the second game of the season series with the Lancers, with game one going by way of Omaha down at Ralston Arena, 6-4 Lancers. With six total points up for grabs this weekend and Des Moines just two points out of fourth place where Omaha currently sits, Sunday's game may be more than just casual viewing. There's been nothing casual about the Buccaneers special teams as of late, as over the last two weekends, Des Moines power play has scored nine goals and is operating at 38% while their penalty kill has gone 19 for 21. Assistant coach Kevin Lynn credits the team's gelling process as to why we've seen an uptick in the special teams recently. Yeah, I think penalty kill, you know, obviously it's blocking shots of being in the right lanes and um, penalty kills working hard. So, um, you know, that's the biggest detail. And I think our guys are, are really kind of starting to get that as we uh, enter the second half of the season. And same thing from power play. You know, it takes a while for those guys to gel and click. And um, you've seen that recently and they're shooting the puck a lot more, which is great. This weekend's lone home game is on Saturday, and it's country night here in Urbandale, featuring a pregame show from the Robbie Michael Band and drink specials during the game. All three games will be available this weekend on the Buccaneer Broadcast Network. Until the puck drops in Cedar Rapids, I'm Ben Gislason here with the Des Moines Buccaneers, and this has been your Catch Des Moines Weekend Preview.